You're not saying anything, Cassie. I want to know what's going on. I want to know now. I told you. Yeah, I know. I know. You told me. You're not having an affair with Josh. You told me. And I want to believe that. I really do. More than anything on this earth, I want to believe that. So why don't you just give me one logical explanation about what's going on with you two? One explanation. That's all I'm asking for. It's hard. No. No. You see, the truth is not hard. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Should be, anyway. You know, the less you say, the worse I feel, okay? And you can't blame Dinah this time, because I'm seeing it with my own eyes, sweetheart. Heart? Yeah. yeah. The other day, me and Dinah came to the house, and you wouldn't let us in because Josh was, was sick, right? He was terribly ill. But he made a miraculous recovery. It was incredible. And then we make love for the first time, Cassie. We make love, and you wake up with me, and you have to leave my house because you have a big meeting with, with Josh. Except you never get to the office, and neither does he. And then at the party, at the party with you and your sister, if there weren't so many people there, I think you would have went at it with her. And now this thing at Michael's apartment with your clothes and his clothes, what the hell am I supposed to believe? Huh? What kind of fool am I? I love you. You're the woman that I've waited my entire life for. Do you understand what that means? Now, if something happened with Josh, I understand. I'm, I'm a big boy, okay? Just tell me the truth so we can get past all this. Stop it. Just stop. Just, just stop. Stop. Okay, yeah. Okay. You want me to stop? Yes. I stopped. Now what? I'm not having an you're affair not. with Josh. You're not. You're not. You're not. You just want to tell me what you're not. I'm asking you what is going on. Now, if you want to continue this relationship, I think, is what I thought we had, then I suggest you tell me the truth. I know that this is going to sound really lame. There are some things going on right now that I can't tell you, but I'm not having an affair. Then leave Josh's house. Leave Josh's house and come live with me. I can't. This is too weird. Yes, it's it's Reva Shane calling. C could you put that call through to Springfield for me again, please? Yes, the Lewis house. Hello? Don't hang up. You again? I don't know who you are, and at this point, I really don't care. But if Josh was not there, then put on whoever your company is. Put them on the phone. Dream on. My company doesn't want to get an earful from a crank like you. This is nuts. No, you're nuts. And if you don't stop harassing me, I'll have you committed. That ought to fix her clock. Damn. Uh, Reva, you, um... You know me. You can tell me anything. I mean, no matter how bizarre it sounds. Bizarre. <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what? what's bizarre. That new song on the radio, the one that goes waka walk the zook zook <laughs> ram a cam a cam. <laughs> That's bizarre. No, 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 no. I meant, I meant you can trust me. I won't tell anybody. I'll keep it quiet. I'll... I know I can trust you. I said I do to you once. We took vows. I can trust then you as much as I can trust anybody. No, I'm the one person you can turn to. You know. Whatever it is, just ask. You know how I get. I get so dramatic, and I exaggerate things, and I make things sound grander than they really that are. That doesn't explain you telling me you're a... I, the truth is, I was mad at Josh. So mad I wanted to spit. We had one of those big knockdown drag-out fights, and I wanted to stick it to him. You know how that is. No, I... Uh, well, that's no, I, why I, I, I told that... you that I was a clone. To get back at Josh. <laughs> yes, pretty silly, huh? No, silly is not the word I. Well, you know how I get to. when I get yeah. my dander up. <laughs> I know you. I know. What happened to the scar? The scar, uh, it. I got rid of it because it was ugly. Got rid of it. Well, I mean, what? Plastic surgery? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, plastic surgery. I, I, it's yeah. as good as new now. I see. What happened to the scar on the other arm? 
Well, same uh, accident. That was, uh, I got rid of it because it was really ugly. No, you didn't. Didn't what? Get rid of it. There was nothing to get rid of. Huh? I made it up. You didn't have a scar. Tell me what's going on. Tell me, or I'll call Josh and get some answers from him. Hey, you are here. There were the lights on and everything. You hadn't even come in today. No, I'm here. Whoa, uh, that doesn't look like sarsaparilla. That looks like bourbon. Kentucky's finest. Uh -huh. Now, let's see. You're sitting here alone in the dark. Sipping on John Barleycorn. Offhand, I'd say you're having a bad day. And I just have a drink without you jumping down my throat. Yeah, you're definitely having a bad day. <sighs> you know, you want to talk about it? I, I never thought I would say this, but I think you've been to uh, a few too many AA meetings. Not everybody who has a drink is an alcoholic. That's fair enough. But you don't have to be an alcoholic to know that drinking never solved anything. Now, come on, Josh. What's eating you? Have you noticed? Have I noticed what? Have you noticed anything odd or unusual about Reva lately? No. You see, she's um, she's different now, and there's a reason for that. Yeah. Lewis Oil, Billy Lewis. Billy? Don't freak out. It, it's me. It, it's Reva. It's always good to hear your voice, darling. I can't tell you how good it is to hear a familiar voice. Speak of the devil, uh, Josh and I were just talking about you, sweetheart. Um, you guys must have had one doozy of a fight. What? Uh, look, he'll, 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 your voice will do real good. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Billy! Don't want to talk to her. You gotta talk to her. Just hang up the phone, Billy. Hey, you can't do this to Reed. Now, she knows you're here, and I told her you were gonna talk to her, not talk to her. Yes? Joshua. Oh, thank God. It's me. I don't really have time right now. I'll see you later. Okay, I think that's all of it. Let me uh, check the drawers just to make sure. So Abby's getting out. Uh, that's what we've got planned. Well, why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she? Well, our DA's making things very difficult for us. And the bottom line here, Michelle, is that Abby should never have been in prison in the first place. Well, now you'd be able to go on a real honeymoon. Oh, man, I'll tell you, I got 100 brochures waiting at home. 100. I have 12 brochures of the most romantic places in the world. Oh, I want to read every one of them. And you will, right after the reunion. What? I am throwing the biggest reunion this family's ever seen. You, Dad, Aunt Maida, everybody, the whole family. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just hoping that Abby's gonna be able to join us. Our luck is changing, Rick. We're on a roll. I have a feeling that Abby's going to be there. Uh -huh. A very strong feeling. That's good. So you think we're on this roll? Yeah. Uh -huh. Things have been down for a while. Way too long. And I think it's time that things start to break our way. Does that mean you're going to reconsider calling Jesse? I don't know. I, I think we're in this, this roll. This has here, nothing to do with I Jesse. I think it does. No. Why not? Because he's not, it's not like he's waiting around for me. Well, you didn't give him any choice, Michelle. You dumped him. I know. You're right. But I guess I had this childish fantasy in the back of my mind that if he really loved me... What? I don't know. It's crazy. 